Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I am on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Today is a super exciting video. It is my one year update since I transitioned over to a clean approach to the WW program. So about a year ago, I transitioned into a cleaner eating type of style and approach to the program. Basically meaning that I cut out a lot of the sugar-free, fat-free, options from my diet and decided to go ahead and take the point hit or the calorie hit for the full fat, healthier version. Everything from my cheese to my coffee creamer to my yogurt, you name it, I've transitioned over to the full fat versions. Again, for the health benefits that come along with those. I ended up putting out a clean eating one month update video and a clean eating six month update video. I will link those down below for you. So today is the one year update. I'm gonna let you know what the expectations versus reality are. I'll recap the items I shared with you in the one month and six month update, let you know if those are still things that are happening for me today. And then I have a few new things that I've discovered about clean eating and how that's been extremely beneficial to me. So we're talking reality versus expectation when it comes to the clean approach to WW. So if you're excited for today's video, don't forget to give it a big, huge thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and lets me know to keep talking about clean eating or a cleaner approach to the program. I know a lot of you have transitioned over as well. That makes me super happy. And I'm really, really grateful that I'm here to help you guys with that transition. Don't forget if you're new or you're not yet subscribed, hit the little subscribe button. I'd absolutely love to have you here on YouTube. We're such an amazing and growing community. We'd love to have you. Don't forget to check out the description box down below where you're going to find my 2021 custom calendar. This is a tool that I have been loving on my weight loss journey in the new year. It's not too late to get one in your hot little hands. I'm shipping relatively quickly, so you should have it in plenty of time to utilize it for the full year. You'll also find my nutrition coaching options. I do offer personalized macro and calorie calculation. This is personalized to you to help you most effectively reach your goals. Also, I offer 30 and 60 minute one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions if you're looking for a little bit more one-on-one -on -one support. So check that out down in the description box. Links and discount codes to my favorite things are down there as well as some of the things that I'm sharing with you in today's video. And last but not least, my Facebook group, another community that would be honored to have you. So come on over and join us there as well. So let's jump into this one year clean eating update. Like I shared in the one month and six month update, I am not a doctor or a physician. I'm not even a dietitian or nutritionist. I am simply a weight loss and nutrition coach. So the information that I'm sharing with you today is my personal experience, as well as somewhat of a professional experience when it comes to weight loss and nutrition coaching. So if you have questions on your diet, what you should be eating, how much you should be eating, what diet plan you should be following, highly recommend that you check with your family physician to see what their recommendation is. So a little back history on why I decided to transition over to a cleaner approach to WW. I was finding that I wasn't full and satisfied with the foods that I was eating because I was eating a lot of fat-free, reduced sugar, reduced fat, all of those foods that are really more chemically laden than they are satisfying. And I wanted to find a way to feel full and satisfied on WW, but still get the health and nutrient benefits of the foods that I was eating. I was also experiencing a lot of disruption in my gut, that rumbly feeling in my stomach and just not feeling my overall best. So I decided that the easiest thing I could do is to take out the fat-free, sugar-free foods, eat a more well-rounded whole food diet and see if that helped overall make me feel like a healthier, happier person. When I initially made the transition, I let you guys know that I would be following essentially a 90-10 approach to clean eating. 90% of the time, good, real, whole food, and 10% of the time, some of my favorite foods, like my Built Bars, or some of those more processed, less nutrient-dense foods. I'm still following that approach, but I would say that as time has went on, I've actually adjusted a little bit. I 
would say that honestly now it's more like 80 20. I gravitated away from some of the foods that I was eating initially just because I wasn't enjoying them any longer. Maybe I found better or more satisfying substitutions, but I would say that I still follow about the 80 20 approach to clean eating 80% real whole foods, 20% some of the more processed foods that I love. I'm once again going to put the definition of what clean eating is right here for you, just so you're aware of what the actual definition of clean eating is. I'm also going to link down below in the description box that one month and six month update, as well as my entire clean eating playlist for you. I've done several, several videos on clean eating, what foods I used to eat that I no longer eat, and just tons of tips and tricks, whether it's budget related or what to look for at the grocery store to help you make a cleaner approach to the WW or really whatever program you're following. So all of those will be linked down in the the description box. I'm going to be sharing with you 10 expectations I had when I transitioned to the clean approach to the program versus what the actual reality was. And we'll recap how things were going one and six months in, as well as how I'm feeling today, one year into this approach. So number one is energy. As I shared in my previous two update videos, my energy has never been better. And that is still the same today. I find that I am much more full of energy throughout the day. The foods that I'm eating are fueling my body in the most effective way. I'm able to make it through not only my day-to-day -day activities, but my workout without feeling just overly fatigued and tired. Now, don't get me wrong. There are days that I'm tired and fatigued and don't want to get out of bed, but for the most part, my energy levels are exponentially better when I'm eating more whole, real food. Number two is my sleep. My sleep also has never been better. Now I will say that for the last three or four months, I've been struggling a little bit with staying asleep. I have no problem falling asleep, but it's the staying asleep that I struggle with. If I'm sore from working out, I'll wake up and that soreness keeps me awake. More likely than not, it's when my mind keeps me awake. I'll wake up in the night, whether it's to let my dogs out or use the restroom. And then I just have a really hard time falling back to sleep because my mind starts going and I start thinking about all the things that I need to do. Who's with me on that? So I started taking a sleep gummy vitamin again a few months ago, and that seemed to help a little bit. But what's really been the game changer for me when it comes to sleeping more soundly has actually happened in the last month or so. And that's when I went ahead and had my gut health tested from Thrive Gut Health. You guys saw in a previous What I Eat in a Day video that I had the kit, I took a sample, sent it in, they sent me a personalized probiotic for me, and one of the health the gut bacteria I was deficient in was the one that helps with sleep. Makes perfect sense. So since I've been taking my Thrive probiotics every single day, I have not been taking my sleep gummy vitamins. I've been sleeping a lot better and all of the other good bacteria that I was deficient in have come up in their levels and I'm overall feeling better than I've ever felt before. My weight loss has increased. My energy has continued to increase. My gut health and my overall health has just gotten a lot better. I ended up ordering the kit for my husband. He's been taking the probiotics. He's loving them. It's really truly been a game changer. So I'm going to link the Thrive Gut Health test down below for you guys with a link for 10% off that I was able to score from them for you. Highly recommend. Having a healthy gut leads to being a healthy overall human being. If one of the good bacteria you're lacking like I was, is beneficial for weight loss, taking that probiotic, game changer. These are my probiotics. I order them at the three month supply just so that I have them on hand always. I will forever, forever take my probiotics. I plan on retesting my gut bacteria after about six months to see where I fall. And then my probiotics would be adjusted at that point as well because they're personalized to me. So I'll put that down below for you guys. But overall, sleep has definitely, definitely improved. Let's talk regularity. And I know that this isn't everybody's favorite topic in the world, but it's a topic that we need to discuss. When I was eating a lot of fat-free, sugar-free, I suffered from irregularity, even sometimes constipation. I wasn't able to do my thing on a regular basis. And that leads you to feeling blah and bloated and your belly hurts. Since I transitioned to clean foods, I definitely, definitely have been more regular. And again, in the last couple of months, that's increased as well by taking my probiotic because it helps make my gut health in superior shape, which helps also make everything regular. So I've noticed a huge, huge difference when it comes to regularity. The foods that you choose to eat make a big difference in how your body processes those foods and also rids your body 
of those foods. Number four is my grocery bill. This is something that I expected to just skyrocket. As you know, I buy most of my produce, if not all of it, organic. I really focus on grass-fed, grass-finished meats because I find them to not only taste way better, and I mean way, way better. I find them to just digest more effectively in my body and I don't feel that heaviness that sometimes comes with a big, hearty, meaty dinner. Now to be honest with you, yeah, my grocery budget has increased a little bit by buying these organic foods and these grass-fed meats, but I will also tell you that that amount of increase is very, very minimal. Anywhere from about 10 to $20 a week, more than I spent before. Now if you are trying to save on your grocery bill, just make sure that you're purchasing only the Dirty Dozen Foods Organic. I did an entire video on the Dirty Dozen. I'll put that down below for you guys. That way you're not buying foods that are on the Clean 15 or Clean Foods Organic, if not absolutely necessary. And when it comes to grass-fed, grass-finished, pick and choose what meats you're purchasing in that fashion. I tend to lean towards the butcher box. I love them. Their meat is superior. It is better than any other meat I've ever had. And for grass-fed, grass-finished meat, it's extremely, extremely affordable. So I just order it online. It comes to my house every two months. I pop it in the freezer, and I always have that grass-fed, grass-finished meat on hand. So I'll put that down below for you too with $30 off of your first box. I also find that Walmart in my area has the best prices on grass-fed ground beef. So I generally buy that there. Just shop the sales, shop the ads, take advantage of places like butcher box and have those high quality meats and foods delivered to your doorstep without having to spend a lot and go from store to store number five is my overall satisfaction and lack of being overly hungry so I shared in my other updates that I definitely definitely feel more satisfied and that is true to this day when I'm eating a more whole food diet when I'm eating real peanut butter instead of PB2, or full fat yogurt instead of low fat or fat free yogurt, or even, and actually maybe the biggest change, is having regular coffee creamer in my coffee in the morning rather than sugar free or fat free coffee creamer. That coffee is so much more satisfying for me, and my coffee is the one thing I do not skimp on. I do not worry about the points of the creamer. I pick a creamer that makes me feel good about my coffee, makes it taste good, and starts my day off right. So my satisfaction overall has increased so much. Like I mentioned, I no longer have that rumbly tummy and I'm definitely more full and satisfied with the foods that I'm eating. Let's be honest, having a snack of chips is a lot less satisfying than having a snack of full fat cottage cheese or full fat yogurt or a meat stick and some veggies. So I find that when I'm eating a cleaner diet, I'm definitely more satisfied with my meal and between my meals. Number six is staying within my points. I had a feeling that this was going to be quite the challenge. As we know that WW puts higher point values on foods that are full fat, things like peanut butter, cottage cheese, yogurt, the things that I gravitate towards have higher points. So I knew going in or had the expectation going in that I probably would have a hard time staying within my point if I wasn't choosing the lower fat, fat-free, sugar-free options. So I decided shortly after this clean eating approach to not worry so much about the points that I'm eating every day. Now I do track my points. I do try to stay within my points, but my number one focus is my calorie goal every day. I want to fuel my body, stoke my metabolism, keep my metabolism revved and ready so when I do hit maintenance, I don't have to worry about gaining weight because my metabolism had adapted to such a low calorie, low point diet. So although I do track my points every day, I make sure that no matter what, I hit my calories for the day and then I use my points as data, as a secondary measure, but my calories are numero uno for me every single day. Number seven is I was worried that clean food wouldn't taste as good as processed food. And actually this is a reality. There are certain things that are processed that taste a lot better than the clean version. For example, crackers. The Ritz of the world taste a lot better than some of the crackers that have real good whole food ingredients. But that doesn't mean that I don't eat the Ritz. That just means that I eat them more in moderation. Remember, 90-10, 80-20. What I've been able to do over the course of this last year is find good tasting whole clean food substitutions. So I find the clean ingredient cracker that tastes the best. I find the full fat cottage cheese that tastes the best. 
I've done a lot of shopping on the Thrive Market. You guys know I love Thrive so much. They have thousands and thousands of healthy options at up to 30% less than the grocery store. So I like to go on their website and just kind of scroll through and see what they have. It's been a great way for me to try new things. Some things I've loved, some things I haven't, and it's delivered to my doorstep free of charge with a minimum order. So I've been utilizing the Thrive Market a lot this last year. I'll link them down below for you guys as well. And at the filming of this video, they were offering 25% off your first order and a free gift. So I don't know if that's still the promotion, but they seem to always have a constant promotion. So definitely check out Thrive if you're interested in finding those good alternatives that taste good. Because let's be honest, we're not going to eat gross, disgusting, clean food for the sake of being on a diet or following clean food. Because what happens when we're no longer losing weight, we're no longer going to be eating those foods and that's not gonna do anything for maintaining our weight. I always say the foods that you eat while you're losing weight should be the same foods that you eat when you are maintaining your weight. Number eight goes hand in hand with me curious as to whether or not I could stay within my points and my calories. So I've done a lot of digging into points versus calories. I've done a ton of videos on this. I'll link that playlist like I said down below. I recently did a what I eat in a week points versus calories where my goal was to stay within my points. And it was very enlightening to see where I fell calorically wise every day staying in my points and this was still eating the clean whole food diet and of course I have the 80 20 20% 20 was things like built bars but the other 80% was the foods I normally eat and how that translated points versus calories so I'll put that video in the description box for you guys but I found this to continue to be a challenge for me it's very very hard for me to reach my point goal and my calorie goal all on the same day I have to do a lot of strategic planning I have to eat a lot a lot of zero point foods in order to keep my points low enough that I'm within my goal, but also reach my calories. And again, that's what led me to being more focused on calories than on points. I was very concerned if eating a cleaner approach to WW would be easy to stick with. I thought it was going to be very hard that I would find myself naturally gravitating towards the lower point items. Again, the fat free cheese, the low fat dairy, the PB2 versus peanut butter, but that wasn't actually a reality for me. I found myself enjoying those real foods so much more that it was worth the point hit it was worth the calorie hit, and I would much rather eat the real whole food than eat the processed food. And I was so delighted by this because I thought truthfully this was going to be a huge struggle. Now in the beginning, it was a little bit of a struggle. It was hard for me to make that transition and to kind of get the points out of my mind and focus more on what I was eating. But as this year has went on, that's been my primary focus, and now it's literally second nature for me. I think it's really important when you're making any changes to your diet, or the foods that you're eating to do it in baby steps. You don't have to throw away all of your non-organic produce. You don't have to throw away all of your processed foods. But as you go through those items, bring the healthier option into your house. And that's kind of what I did. And now it's literally just second nature. So I find it very easy to stick with. And I'm grateful that I allow myself 20% of the time to eat some of the foods I'm craving or that maybe don't fall on the clean foods list. And that's really made this extremely sustainable for me, which it's all about sustainability. Sustainability. And last but not least is weight loss. So I shared with you guys where I was with my weight loss in my one month and six month update and where I am today when it comes to weight loss. So now following the clean approach to WW for the last year, as you know, I have hit a total of 53 pounds down at the filming of this video. Now, when you see this video, I've probably lost more because to be honest with you, I have lost more weight than I ever have eating this approach eating real food, eating full fat, eating peanut butter, eating regular creamer in my coffee. I have lost more weight than I've ever lost before on WW and in counting calories. I think it's very, very important to find something sustainable. I feel like a broken record, but sustainability is key. Like I said, what you do now to lose weight, you have to be able to do when you maintain your weight or you're gonna gain your weight back. So that's my update for you guys. One year later, I couldn't be happier with my decision a year ago to make this transition. Don't get me wrong, it's been hard at times, and there have been days that I have sucked 
the 90 10 or the 80 20 but overall i find myself craving and gravitating towards those more healthier foods as you also know i've upped my water intake to a gallon a day and that's helped me as well because the more water i drink the less snacky i am the less hungry i am so that's helped me have the points and calories available to choose that full fat option so i'm loving it i don't see myself changing my approach to ww i see myself continuing to eat a clean whole food diet a lot of you have reached out to me and said that you've transitioned over as well and you are feeling better than ever which seriously warms my heart we all have to do what works for us we all have to work the program the way that works for us and this is working for me and I'm seriously so excited to move into 2021 continuing this approach and see what happens at that two-year check-in if you're curious as to how many calories you should be eating every day what macros you should be eating carbs fats protein definitely take advantage of my personalized macro and calorie calculation option on my nutrition coaching website Again, I offer one-on-one -on -one support in 30 and 60 minute sessions where we can talk about your goals and set you up for success moving into the next week, the next month, and the next year. You'll find all of that information down in the description box. Along with the items that I shared with you today, links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course my Facebook group, another community that would love to have you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments, have you transitioned over to clean eating? Is it something you're considering? And let me know what your thoughts are and the things that I shared in today's video. And last but not least, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. Thank you guys so much for all of your love and support and sticking with me through this transition and being there to support me and love me no matter what I'm doing on WW Counting Calories. Whatever program I've chosen to follow, you guys have always been such a big support to me and I really appreciate it. So I love you guys so, so much. Check out that description box for everything I discussed today and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.